Um, I met Matt in the womb. He's the brother I uh, always wanted but never had. So thank you, Matt. Um, how many people here love Matt Almodio? Let me give a round of applause for Matt. Uh, none of us would be here without you, Matt. And uh, you know, I hope you recognize that the love in this room, this is for you, man. This is for everyone excited to support your project. Is that right? Hey. Hey. Um, what's everyone drinking? What do you guys have over there? Whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. I love any drink with like an egg white frothed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Egg white frothed up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm yeah, so happy to be here. Um, speaking of, you know, you're complaining about being single, and I get it. I feel, I feel your pain, except I don't. Um, <laughs> Actually, I do not, uh, but, you know, uh, this first song is about what it's like to have to get out of a relationship you shouldn't have been in, so, you know, silver lining, plus side, plus side, yeah, yeah, because because sometimes being in a relationship is not the solution, am I right? Am I right? Yes. Okay, well, this song is called Fly the Coop. Matt, I love you. Uh, I love you, and, uh... Danielle and Perry, I mean, fantastic. So excited. Thank you guys for just really blessing this space with your sound. Everyone give it up for Abraham Kim doing the sound tonight. Yes! It's crushing it. Really crushing it. Okay, thank you guys. Hold up. Okay, they're ready. It's like getting into a car. You have to, like, adjust your mirrors, you know? No? Like when you when you drive? Does it, no? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. She got me. <laughs> no, I finally found a life alone without you. Oh, I swore I never would. I never see. I never know. I used to stand inside the gate just like I would. Thank you. 
talk more about Matt. First time I saw him at uh, Collaboration, I think I just cried tears in a sheet down my face. Uh, not many people can do that. Yeah, Justin, you know what I'm talking about. He just makes you like tap into your soul. You know what I mean? Because he's like, you must think I'm dumb. And I was like, I thought I was dumb. And you're showing me that I'm not. And I was just weeping endlessly. So thank you for my wet face. It's for you, Matt. It's for you. I love you. Um, so this is a song called Rescue Me. Um, how many of you guys uh, thought you were in a relationship but then realized that you weren't because the other party just didn't want to be? Yeah? Okay, I just feel a lot of pity. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. Remember when Facebook had like a, it's complicated? Remember that? Remember when they used to show people publicly how many friends you had? You know? Remember yeah. on MySpace when you could tell the world who you cared about the most with your top eight? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What is it, top five? It's top eight. It's top eight. They switch, oh, yeah. Well, anyway, this is a song called Rescue Me and it's um, for all of you who have uh, been dumped over Froyo as it happens. It's pretty brutal. <clears throat> dark ocean and I feel just like I've been thrown overboard and I never got to ask why so you swept the hair out of my face and you saw the tears stream down well even though it's over
jumped over Froyo. That's kind of that was what I was going for. Um, not like Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots would have been better, I think, because Froyo, you go in there like if it's Yogurt Land, and you're like, I have a choice. I'm making my own decisions, and then someone dumps you there. That's not nice, right, Matt? <laughs> Uh, okay, so Matt wanted uh, uh, all of us to talk about something awkward about ourselves. I'm basically the least awkward person, so I don't know why this prompt exists. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you know me, that was sarcastic. That was sarcasm. Um, so one time, I, I was like on this, um, I, on the very first date that I ever went on. I promise you my whole life is not about boys, but it's just a nice way to bond with each other. You know, we have other things we'll go deeper, I know, but... Um, this was my very first date. We watched the movie Family Stone. It was a terrible movie starring Carrie Bradshaw, AKA Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Switch those. Um, and suddenly out of nowhere, he, like, you know, you know there's like the smooth, like, oh, like arm around you type of thing. Well, I think maybe because I'm small, he lifted me off my chair, stuck his arm in, and then like settled me down. And I was like, huh? <laughs> Again, no choice in the matter. Um, and I started sweating from my whole face, you know? Like when you're just like hot red and it's throbbing a little bit right here because your capillaries are like, we don't know what to do with this much blood! Um, so for the rest of the movie, I just sat forward away from the incriminating arms. So. Uh, this is a song called Keep to the Path. <laughs> memories and then laugh like like laugh at openly guys i haven't even told my therapist that i know come on
right out of college, and uh, thank you. Um, that was when the like the recession was kind of hitting. Do you remember that? It was like when the recession had hit, because I'm young, right? But no jobs were available. Super young. No, yeah, but it was during the recession, so I, I wrote that song. And uh, about six months ago, I got laid off from work. Uh, and this song became even more kind of, I don't know, honest to me and relevant. Um, but no matter what the hell happens in your life, just keep at it, you know, because no one else is living your life but you, and no one else has the power to dictate your own life but you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I cheers to Matt for making like a huge decision in uh, embarking on this journey. It's really brave. It requires a lot of courage. So everyone, raise a glass yeah, to Matt. Matt. Big round of applause. Cheers. Yeah. Um, I've been seeing like the Instagram stories and the Snapchats of all the things he's gonna do tonight, and I'm so excited. Like gonna pee my tights. Excited. I'm that stoked for Matt. So I'm gonna do a couple more songs for you guys. Um, thank you for bearing with me. You guys are lovely. Uh, I promise after my set, we're gonna have a little break where you can get more alcohol. So yeah. the bar is right here, and everyone can just get up and get more alcohol. That was a, a, an official announcement. All right, is that okay? Okay, perfect. Uh, so no more personal stories, I'm just gonna jump into this one. Thank you. 
guys. So I got a couple more for you. Um, you guys feeling good? You guys feeling okay? Um, yes, absolutely. I love you guys. Yes. Anyone, should we do some like yoga stretches real quick? Are you guys been sitting too long? I feel like after I've had a couple beers, I need to like stretch to make room in my stomach and to get the effervescence like out. So it's good to burp if you need to burp. I say do it. We're all friends here. We're like family, right? Uh, this is called uh, Gold in the River. Ever, anyone ever feel like um, you were like a diamond in the rough uh, and no one else could see it? Yes, right here. Me too. I feel you, man. Um, let's talk more after the show. But it's really tough, you know? Um, yeah, like when you want to be an astronaut and uh, people are like, no, you're only going to be like a scuba diver. And you're like, no, I'm going to be an astronaut. So this is about that. This is for that guy and this guy right here. Just for me. 